YouTube, man, what's going on? It's LNH back with another video. And Bronny James is once again hooping, man. And a lot of people are pointing to this dude right there in the thumbnail stating that he is the problem for Bronny James. A lot of people are conflicted with what's going on. And this dude just had a most recent game as well as BJ Boston, man. And a lot of stuff with Thumb and Amari Bailey are going down. So let's break it down, get right to it, man. If you do like these type of vids, man, like the video. But let's get right into it. Now, of course, number Number one man Bronny James just had a recent game you guys know I always keep you up to date on what's going on with this dude's career how he's playing really overall just how he was doing in his games now honestly when this game started this dude was not really touching the ball and I was kind of surprised because I think after everything people have said about this how he needs to improve and just him being able to score the ball having the talent you would think he would make that decision right away to just try to get the ball a little bit more go out there be a little bit more aggressive but definitely in the beginning of this game that was not happening but a little bit later on I think this dude started to find his rhythm because I definitely saw him starting to hold on to the ball a little bit more than usual and he seemed much more comfortable when he was playing and going on the court now he only scored eight points this game six rebounds three assists one block two steals and three turnovers shooting three for ten now, some people would look at this game and just really write it off and say, ah, oh, this dude wasn't playing that well. It really doesn't matter. But if you take a look at it, this dude was actually shooting the ball a decent amount of times, at least 10 shots. I think that's more than we can say in other games. And I think whenever we talk about a Hooper improving, things are not going to happen overnight. It's going to take time for the Hooper to really develop, get comfortable, change his overall game, be more aggressive. So we can't expect things to happen overnight. But I think this was very interesting that he seemed like he was starting to be a little bit more aggressive now in this game although they did lose 80 to 73 I gotta say I like this improvement a little bit to his game but man a lot of people are stating the obvious that we've been saying for a while now people like Amari Bailey on the and these other hoopers on the squad are Ronnie James's real problem now what does that mean because the other hoopers on his team are so talented and of course you guys know when Amari Bailey comes back because he is in Injured right now this dude shoots the ball at all times he is not afraid to put up shots and he can score the basketball with ease and a lot of people say when you have these other hoopers on your team that do that all the time it's really tough for people like Bronny and other hoopers to go out there and get buckets and a lot of people are even saying that when Bronny becomes a senior he's going to be straight but I think there's a couple problems with this now correct me if I'm wrong but Mike Price is another hooper on his team and I don't believe this dude is an Amari Bailey age bracket in his class which means when Bronny is going to be there there are still going to be other hoopers that are going to be on the squad when he's playing there and I think just as a basketball player overall you have to deal with ambiguity you have to be able to go on the court and actually be able to play with other hoopers not know who you're going to go up against and still show up the same you every single time still be that confident hooper that goes out there and doesn't matter who you're playing against and sometimes I think the biggest issue that Bronny does have is that when he plays against different players and in different places sometimes we don't always see the same type of hooper sometimes in EYBL we saw it when he was able to score the ball score 16 20 points go out there and be a leader for his team and then on the other point in this team sometimes we see games where he's just a little bit less aggressive and I think a lot of people and even a video that I made previously stated that maybe Bronny should think about leaving Sierra Canyon and again I think you have to look at both sides of the argument number one if you do leave man Sierra Canyon actually when we talk about playing against really good competition I think for the most part they play against solid competition but they have had a few early games where they're blowing out teams and I definitely question why they're playing these teams it could be to get their confidence confidence up but I really don't think it was doing too much for Bronny and the squad if you're beating teams by 50 points but on the other hand if you're playing against the Mount Verdes the IMG academies I think that's when you really see improvement into Hooper's game and especially Bronny going out there if he's able to perform well against teams like that I think that's the biggest difference but again people always like to compare him to Mikey Williams see how many they're scoring this and that but they play against completely different squads and we know when Mikey went up against 
teams like IMG, we definitely did not see that same Hooper where he was going out there scoring 15, 20 points. I believe he did have double digits, but it definitely wasn't one of his best games playing against such good competition. And that's why I think you have to have some type of balance. And that's Bronny's biggest problem. Not Amari Bailey, not other Hoopers on the squad that are super talented. But I think it's more about when you're playing on the court, having that balance of players that are talented alongside you, but also you having a role on the team to be able to contribute as much as you can on the court. And I think there's just a little bit of unbalance on this squad where many times, if we're being honest, Bronny is just not the guy on the court. And not saying that he can't be, but specifically on this team, it may be time to leave and try to go somewhere else. But again, I really don't think Amari and those other hoopers are the problem because if you're really that talented, I think you're going to be able to play against whatever competition you can. And especially when you get to the next level, playing in college in the NBA, you don't choose who you play against. You go pretty much against the best competition every single night, and you have to be ready for that. Now, some people are saying when he gets to be a senior is when we're really going to see him go out there and play. But I just don't know. At this point, we're just going to have to take each game one step at a time and really analyze it. But it's definitely super interesting to see what this dude has in store for him and just the overall mentality and how he develops. Because you guys know the genetics are there for sure. We saw him jumping out the gym and that little dunk contest he had and he has it for sure it's just the mentality the aggression and how he overall develops but again he's super young has still a couple more months some more time to develop and it's definitely going to be a super interesting process but you guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below about that now bj boston just had a recent game as well where this dude went off scoring 46 points four assists and five rebounds now if that isn't a good game man i don't know what is because a lot of people were questioning if this dude was going to be able to make that transition from college to the NBA because of course you guys know he didn't play that well in college he was playing for Kentucky where he definitely didn't seem like he had the same type of swag and confidence on the court like he did previously but I think over time as he developed continued to really grind and you guys know this dude's always posting himself in the gym putting in a ton of work he seems like he's starting to fit in a little bit more into this NBA G League but I think a lot of people are not noticing he actually played against Zaire Wade and dropped that many points. So again, I think he is playing extremely well, going 15 for 20 from the field goal and nine for 12 from the three. This dude clearly, because if a lot of you remember, he was shooting threes lights out in high school. That was the thing that he was known for, his shooting ability, overall athleticism. He still had the handles and was just overall a really dominant player in high school, went to college and things were not the same. A lot of people questioned how good this dude was really going to be. Even people called him a bust because they said, if you guys remember, he was going to be a top 10 draft pick when he was in high school. This dude was ranked so highly, people thought right away he was going to have no problem paying in college and going to the league but you guys know rankings don't mean everything of course when you play in high school is not the same as moving to the next level and there are definitely steps but it's super interesting to see how well he's playing now that he's been able to develop so well over these years and I think for sure he is turning a new leaf and hopefully this dude can actually make an NBA squad soon enough but let me know what you think in the comment section down below what do you think about Bronny's most recent game as well remember these dudes were teammates on Sierra Canyon a while ago so it's funny we see them now and how they're playing in the future but you guys let me know make sure you like the video sub the channel turn on post notifications get a notification every time i upload a new video so i'll need you to